Hi, this is Tara with Studio Taxi. I'm going to show you how to use one of our Photoshop templates to make really neat photo cards. So right now I have a template open. I have my layers panel visible and I have two photos that I'm going to use in the card. Our templates are organized in folders in the layers so any background changes can be made under the background folder. We have clipping masks for all the photos under the photo directory and then we have any wording and sometimes foreground images under the wording. So first of all I'm going to select my top clipping mask because I'm going to insert a picture in here. I'm going to go over to my picture that I want to insert. I'm going to select it on its layers background and hold my mouse down and drag it into my card. So I have my picture inserted here. It's too big so I need to transform it. So you can do it through the menu bar, but I like to do control T and hold the shift key down and then just pull my picture to the right size and move it where I want her. And then I will apply my transformation. So she's pretty close to the right area and she's a little bit too big. So I'm going to now show you how to do the clipping mask. So you go back to the layer, you right click with your mouse to bring up this menu and you're going to choose create clipping mask. And there you go she's in there perfectly. You can move her around. Excellent. Let's do the next one. Select the bottom clipping mask, go to your picture, grab it with your mouse, pull it in, move her where you want to go, control T and then shift with the mouse button to size it to a good size. Apply your transformation, move her to the right spot, right click on the layer, create clipping mask. So now you would go and you would change your wording, the date, the name, the weight, the family people. And also I don't like this color of text here. I would rather have something that's closer to the color of this flower. So I'm going to select the color selector, choose this, and then just choose something a bit brighter. And also I'm going to change these dots to be not quite so pink. So I would go to the dots layer, image, adjustment, replace color, select the dot, and then I'm just going to change the hue. I want it to be a little bit more peachy color. Perfect. So there you go. You can purchase a variety of our templates at studiotaxi.com. Thank you.